So is it, this is in fact an RFP, a request for proposal status open for bids through December 1st, 2020. Uh, and then it says, click here to view. Oh, that's, that's weird. Click here to view the RFP. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay. Oh yeah. This, I went right what, into the, the this RFP. Is what, this is what you're looking at, right? And Correct. So, um, the first thing we're looking at, first of all, uh, they need to update the photos, right? These are some no. older photos. No, these are, these are quality photos. Right. But you've got Amelia, right? Not, right. A, not a Spartan racer in the last couple of years. No offense, Amelia, but not a Spartan racer. You've got the bear. Also not a Spartan racer. So uh, you got a, a grizzly looking Ryan Kent over on the right there. That is not an accurate depiction of what Ryan Kent is today. And then is that Kevin Donahue in the bottom? Oh, of course. Ke Kevin and uh, Kevin and uh, what's her name? Bracken, you made it, buddy. Oh, you can even tell. Look, what is that? What year does that medal say, Josh? <laughs> 2016. Okay. So that's when these photos were taken. That looks like Tahoe 2016. Um, so um, anyway, what, what, what are we looking at, Josh? Tell people what we're looking at, and then we're going to talk about the key dates. So essentially, this, this request for, what is it, proposal? Yeah. Uh, this is Spartan Race taking bids on their 2021 season. They're essentially trying to attract suitors for new locations where they can host their events in 2021. So if this, and, were, game, if this were Game of Thrones... Spartan is like the princess, right? And they're Correct. like, and they're like welcoming, like, I'm the sea prince. You should be with me because I can offer you a thousand ships. Yeah. And House so the, Tully is standing up in front of them saying, We've got a great location. It's right on the water. You're like, but House Tully sucks. But <laughs> check out this beachfront access. <laughs> right? That's that's what this is. So like Listen, like South Myrtle Beach is going to come to Spartan and be like, ah, come Dude, on. I I'm sorry. Were you at the Alabama venue? That is not much of a <laughs> jump between South Myrtle Beach and whatever fuck town in Alabama we were in. <laughs> were you at that venue? I feel like you were. I was, I was not at Alabama. Oh, Alabama was the, was the, uh, we have Josh, you ready? We have bad signal. So that, we can't, that was the, the birth of it. We can't televise. Um, didn't they encourage people to not be streaming from the venue in order to help their own signal? Um, I feel like they did. Right. Okay. So it is then, uh, okay. So just give the important, basically it's people saying like, Hey, you want to host one of these cities instead of the old days where we, where the races would beg, like, please let us be on your farm. Now it's like, Hey, we're a real event. These are the amount of people we get from out of town. This is the amount of hotels they usually rent. This is the economic impact we're going to bring to Correct. your city. Uh, you know, sponsor availability, blah, 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 blah. So cities are bidding on to be either um, uh, USNS or the championship. Yeah, they have their choice. So they, they go through a bunch of things, right? They go through this overview. They talk demographics, all that garbage. Uh, but let's let's jump to... Let's jump first to requirements because this one is interesting to me. Okay. Okay. So in order for uh, people to go this, out By the way, this document was in fact worth the wait, wasn't it, Josh? When I told oh, you I had course. something good. Okay. Of course. I like to, you know. uh, So there's a, there's a certain amount of requirements for your area, your venue, your city to host a Spartan race, right? And what are those requirements? Well, one, must be within 40 miles of a metropolitan area. Makes sense. If 80% of people are flying in, we don't want to drive out to, to buttfuck Indiana, right? Uh, terrain must have multiple changes in elevation. I guess Barry didn't get the notice on that one. Uh, they have acreage requirements up to nor, 800 acres. Nor did required. Jacksonville. True. For the beast. Uh, they would like a use of a waterway to be incorporated. They would like 20 acres of flat land for festivals, tents, restrooms, and spectators. 3,000 available parking spaces or 10 to 20 acres of flat land that can be utilized for parking can be located off site, they say. And then venue reservation for a minimum of eight to 10 days for on build race and breakdown. Uh, financial considerations. So, this is, this is a little, this is what happens when you part the curtain in business. Now, in order for people to see if a venue is worth it, you got to go out and look, right? Right. So a minimum bid fee guarantee of each race series is detailed on the respective information page, but this amount can include in-kind services, which means the venue is sort of giving this to Spartan for the chance to have Spartan come out there. 
Right. So here's some of those qualifying in-kind expenses. They want complimentary staff room nights. Sure. Staff meals. Sure. Shuttle service. Okay. Venue fee. Not sure what that means. Any operational expense that Spartan would otherwise incur. That's a pretty broad statement right there. They want local sponsorship facilitation and local media support. So they, you know, it, we're going to bring you all of these, these customers to your area. Here's what we want in return. Uh, one of the most important considerations in this selection process is the site visit. So while on a site visit, a Spartan representative, A, should be booked in a standard room with double occupancy. Spare no expense. We'll travel economy class for any necessarily airline travel. And will not accept gifts totaling more than fifty dollars in value. That's an ethics thing. Everybody signs up. Company. Well, so, and, and and to put it in in context, when a when a convention is looking to be at a city, when a large sporting event is going to be in a city, like these are the things they do. Like, hey, yep. we're putting this out. We're going to come to your town. You know, most of these are standard. I'm guessing it's all everything's a little flexible, right? Like, hey, we can't give you this, yep. but we'll give you this. I think venue fee is just like if you came to Stone Mountain, Georgia, and there's ten dollars to get into the park, we're gonna, you know, cover yeah, that. I think we'll that's all that. I think that's all that meant. But that's not that's not just for the right to bid. That's that's if they get it. All those things that you first listed. Yeah. So let's let's get to the the, the nuts and bolts, the meat and potatoes. So they list out the race schedule, and primarily this this bid offering is for. U.S. National Series races and championships. I'm Correct. sure it goes to everybody and every local tourism council and all that stuff. Um, so they list out the race schedule for 2021. Race one, U.S. Championship Series. Right, hold on. May. Oh, May. You didn't. You really didn't. You should, I wanted to build that one up a little bit more. Okay. Let's do it again. May 2021. Josh, U.S. Championship Series race one. Is it in February? No, it's is in it May. In, Try this again. Josh, is it in February? No, Matt, it's not in February. Is it in March? It's not in March. Certainly it's by April. Matt, would you believe me if I told you it was not in April? May 2021, get out of here. Shut the front door. May 2021. You see how much so, better that one was, by the way? Yeah, it was pretty good. It was okay. a little, it was a little, uh, little, little slap choppy there. Okay. okay. So I'm going to go to 2021. And I'm going to go to May. By the way, I still maintain that the best thing that's ever come out of the Discord, bit.ly forward slash OCR chat, is uh, Sly developing the Spartan map. Because I cannot use Spartan's website at all. But this map that he designed is the greatest thing. OK. All right, so that leaves us with, these are the May events, right? And it, this is probably flexible, so it might not be. So in May 2021, you have the Boston Super. Okay. I like that because it's local for, for them, right? That's a good possibility. You have City Field, but we're not going to count that. Nope. You have Austin. Austin would be a huge win, I think. Right. Austin That's Super me. and Sprint. Yep. You've got SoCal, California. These are all good venues. These are all could be great. Huge, huge And markets. you've got Montana. Now, Montana mm -hmm. was supposed to be... 2021 but if they're already bidding out the opportunity for events there's no montana might be out probably is out to be honest oh, so you've on. really got four hang choices on. hang on hang on one second hang on one second we've got some cut and paste problems josh <laughs> okay section seven u.s championship the first sentence televised nationally on nbc sports since 2013 makes it sound like that's still happening it's not the Spartan Race U.S. Championship Series is on track to reach over 4.5 million viewers in 2019. We are already in 2021. So this is clearly a doc that gets updated every year. We, we forgot to take out the sentence that says NBC or other properties, right? Like ESPN or Facebook Live, or whatever else. And it needs to say, um, not actually get rid of that line altogether because there's no racing in 2020. So anyway, right. cut, cut and paste problems for whoever's working on this doc. Also, they put a period after U.S. on race one in the championship series. And not on the others. Uh, so anyway, that, I'll let that go, Josh. That's that's. I'll let that one go. That's that's fine. a typo. That's, that's a typo. That's, not a not an error. That's picking nits right there. So you got four choices for the first. All right, so Matt, let's play. Let's play it out. Four choices. You got Boston, which is probably going to be at um, this 508 International venue. It's like a dirt bike course. Boston, Austin, 
SoCal or Montana? Where is your first Which US SoCal? National Which Series SoCal? race? Be more specific. Uh, let me see. Like SoCal, SoCal. Well, I click it and it doesn't actually go to anything because they took it off the the race thing. Let's but say it's like let's say we're too scared that California is still not open, so that leaves us the other three, right? Okay. And by the way, the reason it says May is for that reason, right? Like it probably used to say March or February, but because of COVID, they're like, let's not fuck around. Let's just go ahead and say, but every time we've done that, we've been wrong, by the way. Every time we've said, well, by sure, by now, we'll be back to normal. <laughs> Here we are in October. Here we are in October. We, By the way, do you realize, Josh, this is why you have to listen to the whole show. I don't know if you're aware of this, Josh, but we just lost a season of our lives. Like summer happened. I don't really remember it happening. I don't really like remembering enjoying my summer. Like it just, I know it happened. And now we're in the fall. Well, I'm in the opposite. Uh, I'm very aware that it happened. And honestly, I took the time to do a shitload of stuff that we never would have done be- if we were traveling a lot. So now I, I can say that because it's easier for me to come and go than you. I do uh, remember it being hot. That I remember. It was very hot, but I'm saying- It was, that- it was warm for some time. Yes. Listen, we we all feel that way. We all feel like whole, like as soon as end of August comes and fucking Walmart puts up the Halloween shit, we're like, oh no, right? As soon as the pumpkin spice goes on sale, we're like, how did this happen? And then as soon as Halloween's <laughs> over, we're starting to hear Christmas music and we go, no fucking way. Like that happens every year. I don't know why you're laughing. That'd be sorry. the title of the show. Once the pumpkin spice shit hits, we're like, how did this happen? Right. Like that always happens. Like, so my family and I, family corner, my family and I go to the same it's we we do not have a lot of tradition in the in the uh, in the Matt and Stacy house, right? Even though we've been together this long, there aren't a lot of things that we absolutely do every year. For some reason, we decided a long time ago that we were going to go to this pumpkin patch place every year. After we went the first time, the next year, like let's go to that one again. Um, we've got inside jokes that come up when we go there. We take a nice picture that usually becomes my Facebook, you know, profile picture for a while, or not the profile, but the wide one. We love this place. Do you do some apple picking? No, it's it's pretty nope. cheap. Like it's not even that nice, but it's become the All thing right. that we do. It's about a 40 minute drive. There's a jumpy thing. Then you go on the, then you go on this hayride. Uh, is then, the jumpy thing that weird yes, thing on the ground? Yes, that weird jumpy what thing. What is that? There's some other jumpy things for the smaller kids that River's probably finally too old to do. Then you pick the pumpkins. Um, they used to have a fucking air gun where you shoot the pumpkins. That hasn't been there the last couple of years. Um, it's good. not a lot. Oh, there's a you take you, you take the little train through the woods. There's a pet. There's a you know pet petting thing. Is there a corn maze? Uh, no, but they have like a chintzy maze. That's what I'm saying. It's all very chintzy. This yeah. is not like a massive apple picking corn maze. This is like a chintzy one, but it's ours. We love it. That's anyway, fine. it's canceled this year. So as you think it would be, right? So we're bummed. Now we've Googled and there is one that is open and we'll go to it, but it won't be the same. And then next year, absolutely going back to the one that we love. But it's that's it's a bummer. That's like, that's like a pain, a COVID pain point for me, Josh. We can't go to yeah. our shitty little thing that we go to every year yeah and we've had a few of those moments where you're just like ah like you're just having a conversation and something kind of comes right. up you're like oh fuck we'll never get to go to bob's again like damn so <laughs> <laughs> uh, were any of your friends were any of your friends getting married or supposed to get married you're still young enough that that could happen right i'm gonna be at a wedding next week uh my cousin okay my cousin megan is getting married it was supposed okay. to be in july got delayed Okay. I got, I got invited to the wedding. I got uninvited to the wedding because it's Massachusetts, and then I got reinvited. Special exemption. So um, you're not you're not in the wedding party. I'm not in the wedding party. No. Because really, uh, if you're not in the wedding party, you know, do you really even have to go? Well, yeah, nah, yeah. I, I'm talking to the public out there, Josh. So this is, this is a hypothetical question. Public, do you really have to go? Oh, oh. Speaking of weddings, Matt. What? We neglected to mention the first wedding in Discord history. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Bethany Shimmer got Bethany, married. What's her name now? I don't know. <laughs> Mrs. Bethany Shimmer. <laughs> Congratulations, we're, Bethany. We're in progressive times. She's not. She's not changing her name. We don't do that anymore. Right. Right. Fuck that shit. What kind of Shimmer. fucking? What kind of? What kind of fucking old Targaryen bullshit is that? I know. That's some that's some classic Targaryen bullshit. She did get to pick though. She she did get to pick her own. Like she, we didn't force it upon her, right? 
she wasn't like Sansa. What, she wasn't like she wasn't like Sansa just being passed around the different men of the kingdoms. No, I believe we assigned her a husband. <laughs> I believe as a, as a council, we all decided that it was time for her to marry. Congratulations, Bethany. Congrats. So we haven't had any children born in uh, yet, have we? Yes, there's we no, have. There's no, there has? Yeah. There's been Discord Ricky babies? had a baby. Ricky had a baby. Well, I know you hate Ricky, but he had a baby. I don't hate Ricky. I miss, I miss Ricky. I miss his recaps. We all miss the recaps. Yeah, really. He was like fired up for two weeks on the recaps, and then that was it. What are you talking about? We had like a month or two of those. Mm. Okay. We had like two weeks of quality recap. Okay, so you're going to the cousin's Maddie, cousin Megan. Yep. Good old Meg. I have to go by myself because Molly can't make it. It's a 2 p.m. wedding because they had to cram all these weddings in in October when they didn't have time. So, what is she doing? What is Molly doing? Yeah, working. Working at 2 p.m. on a Saturday? No, it's on a Thursday. I, I neglected to mention that it was on a Thursday. This is like but when yeah. all those people died on 9-11 and they just like, you can't, you can't really pick your day. It's like, all right, well, I guess, I guess our funeral's on Wednesday. Remember that, Josh? Josh is making a horrified face, audio listeners. Well, yeah. Went from a beautiful wedding to fucking Debbie Downer over here. Sorry. Wah, wah. But you remember when that happened? I, 9-11 yeah I, I kind of remember it but remember that company that lost like its entire so it's like all right what funeral are we going to now well, there's a, we got a noon for debbie we got a 5 p.m for mary this is horrible i can't remember, believe I'm saying. remember chewbacca <laughs> hey josh remember, yep. remember when you were in the beatles oh, that was that, that was awesome that was awesome <laughs> okay josh that was stupid stupid question <laughs> Some people get there, get that. Others are like, what are these two babbling about? It's fine. We've had, we've had a few good ones like that. We've had a few. Uh, All right. Let's, let's loop it back. Okay. All right. Brett. So May, what are you taking? Boston, Austin, or Montana? We should have a, we should make this a contest. Um, I'll, I'll they do a have contest good, in the Discord again for it. Because Montana has been the site of an NBC race before. Correct. On the hills of Montana. No, on the plains of Montana. Um, Amelia exciting. Boone and Rose Wetzel and Toby. Just kicked a bag and he freaked. Wait a minute, Josh. Sorry, did, you, did, you, did you fix those blinds? It looks like you fixed them. I actually moved, <laughs> I moved the blind to a different blind. I just took the broken blind can we, can we, can and we... I moved it over somewhere else. Okay, can we do some, I, I want to ask you a question. And if you're not comfortable speaking about this online, you can say take it offline. Although I have gotten many, many uh, requests about something we, di we did talk about that you're like, oh, we can't talk about that online. I did get a few texts about that. Josh. Yeah. You and your girlfriend, is that what you call her? Yeah, I mean, I think we're past that. But Even though you're 40 something years old. I am 40 with a girlfriend. What do you call that person? I don't know. Your significant other? I don't know. Is that more? I don't know. Uh, wherever you're going with this thing, wherever you're going with this thing, um, will you be a homeowner in 2021? Is that is that on your in your plans? That is in the plans. Because then I don't you know. If 20, I don't know if it'll be 2021. Because then you don't have to worry about this fucking blind anymore. That's kind of what I was getting at. Sure, I do. You think yeah. I'm going to go out and just buy blinds just because I have a house? No, I'm house poor. No, I don't. I can't afford blinds. So I'll just but, put a but I'm saying we won't have to deal with this particular blind, though. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, you won't have to deal with this particular. That's blind. what I'm These saying. So you blinds. guys, if you guys move into home ownership, right? One, what, one of my, what's the thing they they do when you buy a house? Like, all right, give us your list of um, what are the things, like your your must haves. There's right, a word. Right. Give us give us the list of things. Dedicated office space has to be number one. Got to be right. But, I mean, maybe not number one, but like high. Right. Yeah, probably number one, right? We need a fucking dedicated space. Right. Um, but yeah. Now, will she also get one or you'll share one? No, yeah, we'll share one because presumably she probably won't need a work and home office space, but you never know. We could have another We could have another pandemic though. We could. Somebody could, could eat a fucking pangolin and we could have another thing. Would you move to a different state? Well, I already did by moving to New Hampshire. I think, I think we're happy in New Hampshire. 
Okay. I want to be close to the mountains, close to the trails we run at, close to our gym, closer to Molly's school. It's like a 40 minute commute for her now. So would you move uh, to Guilford? No. Would you move to no. Tewksbury? <laughs> Tewksbury? No, I would not move to Tewksbury. It's Tewksbury. It's, it is Tewksbury. But it's T-E-W, so it's Tewksbury. Right. Tewksbury. Tewksbury. Would you move to Stratton upon Guilford? I would not move to Stratton or Guilford. What towns look good in New Hampshire right now? Nashua. We're just going to stay close by. Right really? on Route 3 so you can zip right up to the sure, White Sure, fucking Route 3, sure. Yeah, would just you... fucking zip right up, come by Manchester. You, you go through Conkin, you're right there in the mountains. Will you offer pizza and beer for those that help you move? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah, I'll put an open call out to anybody. Actually, shit, I should have started this way. Now nah, we'll save it. We got a few more weeks. I'm going to put an open call out to Nashua or New Hampshire residents, but in a few weeks. Okay. Do we have a lot of Nashua listeners or New Hampshire I don't listeners? Know. I don't if know. I if I pull up the media kit, I don't think New Hampshire's in the top states. Your demographics? I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch. By the way, if you are, shout out. Shout out New Hampshire. I don't know why I started going down that track. Let's talk about Spartan. Okay. I think it's not California. I think it's more likely one of the other three. So and Austin, and, Austin, and to, pick or one, and to pick one, I'm going to say Texas, just to be just to be fun. Yeah, I think Austin would be. I mean, the city's amazing. I think in terms of venue, like destination venue, Austin's a great city, easy to get to. Um, the airport's a little expensive a lot of times, but Austin would be a good. It's a little flat, but there's some there's some great terrain there that I think could make Austin a good time. Uh, races two through four. I know it took us about forty minutes to get to this one. Races two through four, June to August. June, July, August. Three races, three months. Um, Sorry, I'm just opening June to August. So that opens a lot more, right? In there, you've got Palmerton, throwback, right? NBC home, Palmerton. You got uh, Tri-State New York, which was formerly, what the hell was the name of that stupid venue? Tri State, no. The one Tri Tips, the run, the Renaissance Fair. Why can't I think of this? Waverly, not Waverly. Whatever, it'll come to me after the show. You got Ohio in there. You P-town. got West Virginia, not P Town. You got Fayetteville, Asheville, right? Tons of throwback. You got Colorado. You got another California, and you got the Portland Sprint. Definitely not the Portland Sprint. I don't unless know. Portland I, might, comes, I might be out there for the Portland Sprint. Unless Portland comes out with a ton of money. Portland's not going to do anything. They they got to figure a lot of other shit out before they start inviting people from all over the country. Correct. So you got to cram a few in there. And, you know, I think they stick with West Virginia because everybody seems to love that venue. Uh, do they grab an Asheville or Fayetteville for one of them? Probably. Those are in June and July. And then do they rely on Parmerton? I don't know. You're kind of cramming a lot into the East Coast there. Right. And then race five, the championship, September. So to me, that says Killington. Right? But 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 what about the relationships they already have? Tahoe is supposed to be in a championship this year. Don't they want to try to do it there again? Yeah, but maybe Tahoe's moving on, right? I haven't I haven't searched through Tahoe's meeting notes very recently. <laughs> The venue, form- the venue formerly known as Squaw Valley? Correct. Yeah, it's no longer Squaw Valley. Or at least it is now, and they're moving away from that name. Um, so we yeah, can see a whole shakeup in the, the U.S. In the series. national series and, calendar. And the truth is, none of this is like in stone. This is all like their plan. Yeah, right? they're just they're putting out feelers, as they say. Right. The destinations with the 12 highest bids will be automatic will automatically be selected as finalists. No more than 40% of the bid fee can account for any kind of items, blah, 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 blah. So one thing I just want to bring up, Spartan's contribution to destination marketing efforts. So this is how much money Spartan is going to put into marketing. On average, Spartan will spend 75000 to 200000 per event, they say, 250000 per U.S. Championship Series race, and 350000 for world championship marketing efforts. So lots of, uh, lots of impact. Yeah. And then they go on to list like, 
you know, how many people will spend, how long they'll stay. Average local impact is 2.8 million, almost 2.9 million. Yeah. Um, and then um, Spartan Race itself will spend 225K on venue fees, volunteer meals, uh, employing local contractors. Um, but again, the update of the form needs to happen because they are continuing to talk about the NBC SN show, which hasn't aired since 2017. I mean, it's, it's been a while since it's been on NBC sports, right? Right. Um, so. They're putting so, out so the feelers. Is, so this is, so this is published. I'm not going to say where I'll say it. Sports travel magazine is where it's published. Um, on average, 81% of the races are traveling from outside of the market. 31% are visiting for the first time and 86% plan on returning next year. Um, that sounds a little high. 86% plan on returning next year. Like if you did a survey, will you come back next year? And everybody says, yes, that doesn't mean they do. But they plan on it. <laughs> um, I think also this sounds high. I don't know if somebody wants to debate me, but outside of the market is, is how many miles, right? Because if you do the Georgia Spartan, yes, there'll be a lot of people that travel from outside the market, the entire pro yeah. wave, a lot, of the, a lot of the age group, tuxedo, a lot of the age group waves, right? But then there certainly is a shitload of local people that run in the afternoon that this is their one or second race of the year. So do you believe this 81% outside the market is the market like within five miles of the venue? I would probably say... 20, 30, I'd, I'd push it up to like 40 miles, I bet. All right, without looking, without looking. Don't, okay, so it's don't close now anyway, so I'm not looking. Um, okay, it says 80% of the racers travel 50 plus miles. That's, but, yeah. again, that, but that's, that's local. That's 50. But, but also they're looking for venues that are sort of remote anyway. So that kind of comes with. Okay, okay, ready? Uh, what percentage of the races are married? 38, 50. 50. What percent are college educated? God, probably 85%. 88. What is the average age of the attendee? 33. Josh, it's almost like you read this thing. 33 and a half. What percent are male? 60. You're nailing it. You're crushing this thing. Full-time employed. If you get this one, I'm going to think you're cheating. I'm honest. I'm honestly not cheating. It's not open. I would have to say like 80%. 83%. All right. The national average is 48. Is that right? Only 48% of people are employed full-time? Full-time employed? That's yeah, not true. That's, that's our political podcast on Tuesdays. Josh, if only 48% of the people... Are I mean, are they not counting contractors? I mean, come on, dude. Most people, that means that that would mean that there is a 52% unemployment rate if 40, only 48% per, I mean, that, that doesn't sound no, right. No, it's a 52% partial employment rate, which is true. Josh, what's the median household income? 93 grand. Jo Josh, you're amazing at this game. 96K. And you didn't- Numbers you, are my thing. I did uh, look over the demographic page, but I, I don't have it in front of me. Okay, well, that's very impressive. Um, also sounds high. No, I mean, think about it, Matt, right? We, you know what they don't list on the demographics there? What do they not list, Matt? Volunteers? Nope. Think color of our skin. They don't list any of the racial demographics. Mm, Who participates, point. right? Right. Because we know it's a, we've talked about it before. It's a very whitewashed sport per se. Right. Um, they don't list any of that. I know but, lots of poor white people, Josh. Well, yeah, of course. But well, who, make less time, than, who make less than 100K. Like, think about the people that are traveling for these races, right? These are not people working at a Best Buy on minimum wage traveling all over the country to run Spartan races, right? I bet, you just, I bet you just described a bunch of listeners. Well, of course, I. if I throw one dart at a dartboard, I'm going to hit something one way or another, right? <laughs> so I'm not taking a shot at them. But I'm just saying that somebody who does work at a retail place is not the person traveling 50 plus miles multiple times throughout the year, but somebody with dual income household 
makes 95 grand a year, that's the person that has I think, expendable income. I think I keep forgetting that a lot of people have two out two incomes. I keep forgetting that because I've right. been in a situation where I have been the income for a long time. So I think I forget that part. So yeah, if you then you're definitely making that. If you've got two incomes, you're 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 good. You're in good shape. Um so it's a it's a pretty fascinating doc. It gave us some information. Um, and again, this is a public thing. It's sports. So travel. how up to date do you think these national series races even are? So now I'm questioning whether or not that's up to date. Well, I feel like it says, um, I feel like it says, what does the first thing say? Like you've got to have it in by December 2020. Yeah. So maybe they just updated those dates. Yeah. I mean, it says the 2021 RFP. So they probably delivered this. They probably made it in June or July. I don't know. I mean, the, the question we've asked is why you, why you, why can't you be a year ahead? Why can't you be two years ahead? Like get on this now, obviously COVID fucked everything up, but, um, but yeah, like get ahead of it. Do, do, do like two years in advance and then you're, you're, you're caught up. Yeah. Um, well, Josh, I have a, uh, I have a very exciting podcast coming up next um, that I'm about to start with one Dr. L and one Stacey Davis. So it's going to be a good one. That is going to be a good and one. Even Are though you emotionally I'm, prepared for that? <laughs> and even though it's not about my wife, it's about, it's not about Stacey and I. So no. maybe I, maybe I said that wrong. Um, and even though I'm married to this person, we are in different locations because I'm back. You married Dr. L. I marry Dr. L. I'm now a bigamist or a polygamist. Bigamist. <laughs> Is that even a thing? Yeah, Google it. Bigamist. Oh, yeah. Someone who marries while already legally married to someone else. Boom. Mic drop. Oh, but that marriage is not valid if one spouse is a bigamist. Oh. I did not know bigamy was a thing. I knew polygamy was a thing. Josh, it's great to be on this show. I learned so much. This ended up being an amazing episode. It really did. I enjoyed talking. As long as you make it past the 30 minutes of Game of Thrones chat. Correct. I'm going to say goodbye now, Josh. Good speaking to you. Take care, my friend. Always good talking to you. Good luck this weekend. Oh, we'll, we'll talk before then, I'm sure.